Okay, today is LCD and Plasma Specialist Day. We have here a 42 inch television and Panasonic with an air coder blink of seven times red shut down. We're going to go ahead and figure out and troubleshoot our problem here today. First, we're going to go ahead and plug in the unit. And caution, dumbasses may get electrocuted. Well, if you use popper and procedure, you'll be okay. But if not, you will get shot. Turn on the TV, the TV fans spin, they run, and it shuts down. Right on front here, there's a seven air code blink on the television, and you will see it turn red. And it shuts down. It'll blink down like seven, seven times. times. Yeah. Two, three. And that's after you pl um, press that power button. So the TV won't turn on, it'll give you an error code blinking seven times. Now we're going to go ahead and do a quick troubleshooting on the television set. And for this troubleshooting here, you don't even need a multimeter. We're going to go ahead and troubleshoot it real quickly here. There's a P2 and a P11 on the power supply board. This P2 goes over to the Y sustain. The P11 goes over to the X sustain board. You disconnect both of them and see if the TV turns on. If the TV turns on, we have a problem with either one of those boards. We're going to go so ahead. So if the TV turns on, that means this power supply is good? That's that what you're is, saying? That is correct. Power supply board is good because the TV has enough power to turn on the See, television. you should get high voltage. Something is down in power supply board, so we have to figure out exactly what it is. And no seven light blinks. Go ahead, have the same problem. Disconnect the P11 and P2, and we have the same problem. TV turns on, it turns right back off. That spark, even though it's unplugged, it still sparks. It's just a high voltage coming off our power supply board, it still carries current on it. Oh, so, so the please, capacitors hold juice? Oh, definitely so. So, just make sure you be real careful with that or you shock yourself. All right, now we're going to go over to the Y sustain board and we're going to start with this board first. Okay, we just got a connector up here, it's called SC2. You're going to disconnect that power on board, connector from that board, and you're also going to disconnect a uh, connector called SC20 from the bottom part here. Yeah, try this. All right, you disconnect it there, and it's called SC20. And you're gonna go ahead and plug the TV back on. The location number is called SC20. Plug your TV back on, make sure it clicks your relays, and push the power button. The fans will spin, and now continue on spinning. And if the high voltage for stays 30 on. To 40 seconds. If the high voltage stays on, what does that tell you? Well, now it's telling us that our TV is on, but we have no on-screen display. So this board and this board is good, and most likely this board is bad, you're saying? That is correct. And one way to know that your voltage is correct, you could go ahead and if you have a meter, or you go ahead and test that out, and, and you have 220 volts there. We have a DC volt, right? Yes. Okay. And right over here on the panel, you can see there's a little chart. It's called VS. It's 214 volts. Oh, it tells you. So that's so pretty close. You have pretty close voltage, so you know your power supply board is bringing out the correct voltage to turn on your television. So this board does what? It turns on our plasma display to the television and the gives screen? our roster. That is correct. The turns brightness. The brightness, the roster, and the, the scan. This is our scan driver for the top half of the picture. This goes and covers the top half. This is the bottom scan driver, and it does controls the bottom half of the picture. Connects into your Y sustain board, and the TV turns on through there. So if you're getting a black bar, it could be coming from this board. Or lines also. All right, so this is connected to the panel itself, the uh, plasma panel? Yes. Okay. And also the bottom one is connected to the plasma panel. Okay. And this white stain board is connected to those two driver boards. So if the top half of, uh, is black and the bottom is like... Um, you know, you it's still okay. That means you have a problem only with your top driver board. Your power supply is just fine because we have the TV running and you can see our fans and we have our 220 volts. So something on this, something on this board, uh, component, transistor, capacitor is bad. Most likely bad. If you do not know how to repair, do not have a solder station, please purchase it. And you can check our links below. below, below, below. Thank you very much. LCD and plasma specialist.com. All right. Um, and that's about it, right? Um, the first thing you would probably check, too, is that you want to unplug the power and wait, what, like a minute? And then that's a hard reset. Yeah, um, well, definitely so if you want to go ahead and yeah. wait just to make sure the television resets completely. That's and the thoroughly. first thing. And make then, sure you take out all the bugs and anything that's in there that could be...
First reset using the, the television. All right, cool. All right, thanks, Ruben. Thank you very much. You guys have a great day. And don't forget to subscribe and like.